I think that it is very, very important to continue encouraging our governments and ourselves that the environment is not really an issue for tomorrow. The environment is every day issue. It's the air we breathe, it's the water we drink, it's the food we eat, and we can't live without these things. For me, the biggest challenge is governance. Because the people at the top have power. Because they have power, they, can, they, they have control of resources. They have a lot of privileges. And they can continue to increase these privileges uh, from where they sit. And the public at the grassroots can continue to suffer. I could see that the top is very heavy and changing the top is very, very difficult. And changing the top if you don't have the grassroots is almost impossible. So what we did in the Green Belt movement was to go to those grassroots, those bottom, and instead of trickling down, go to them and say maybe there is, should be a trickle up. The point is the tree. A tree has a personality, and as it grows and it changes the landscape, it also change, seems to change the minds of the people, and it, it brings with it a certain rapport that actually encourages people to do more. So that you start with a few farmers, and before you know, so many other farmers want to also participate. This area, before conservation, it was very much degraded. You can see now the, 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 the seedlings that, uh, the, the, the trees that we have planted. In the whole of this area, we have planted about a million seedlings. Before we came in, people used to cut trees, even the small ones that were there. So with this kind of slope, the erosion was very severe. Now you can see the change. The area looks green. It is very green. Look at the river, it's clean because there, there's no erosion. So the community will have clean water. I have always seen poverty as having two sides to it. Poverty will cause environmental degradation because as I sometimes do, a poor person will cut their last tree to cook what may be their last meal. They're not worried about tomorrow. They're worried about today. On the other hand, it is very important for poor people to understand that the more you, add a add a, the more you degrade your environment, the more you uh, mismanage your environment, the more you are likely to uh, dig yourself deeper into poverty. Nehaki yete hado, kiremani odo agodo kagi mono. 
maaĩ magatuĩka rĩu matingiuma na kũu thĩ kwoguo karũĩ nĩ gatuĩkĩte nĩ gegũthira No kuma rĩrĩa twonire ũguo na tukiambia kũhanda mĩtĩ 2000 mwaka wa 2002 ni tuonete improvement na muno makiria maaĩ ni mabatirire na hinya muno Ginya ate ona ka ni kapindaga makiria ma andu 3000 around na hatire rũi rũngi rũkoretwo rĩu rũgeikara toria kadima rĩikarite Now, because we were dealing with the poor people, we also wanted to give them an income. But we were keen not to be seen as coming with a bowl of money to give, a bag of money to give away. So we said, you plant the tree. If you make it survive, we will give you a token of appreciation. And I emphasize that because you, don't pay, you can't pay for all that work. We didn't have that kind of money. They can actually make enough money that w which they can invest. And we encourage them to invest in income generating activities. So because in many ways you are trying to improve the quality of life. <laughs> Operate Kuhusi <laughs> To work with the communities you need passion you need to really want to do that because otherwise they can be a nuisance and you can be in a hurry because you want them to change like yesterday quite often we get people who are educated they have big ideas but they want these people to change overnight they can't and if you push them too much they will do it while you are there and once you pull back they collapse so it's always good to hear that there is somebody somewhere we are no longer in touch and this person is still going on with their project. They are now able to stand on their own. They can truly say they have improved their quality of life. Uh, and it, is, it, it all started with planting that one tree. <laughs>